begin with the latest on the disaster in the Gulf, there's a bit of good news to report. A federal fishing ban has been lifted for more than 5,000 square miles in the Gulf of Mexico along the Florida Panhandle. Officials say no oil has been discovered in the area since the beginning of July. Meanwhile, Rhode Island leaders are looking to learn from the disaster in the Gulf. Tonight, local experts who helped clean up the oil spill are sharing their experiences. Eyewitness to reporter Nathan Wosu joins us now with more local coverage from Warwick. Well, back in June, many experts from Rhode Island traveled down to the Gulf of Mexico to lend their resources and support during the oil spill cleanup. Now, today they presented what they learned to Rhode Island emergency management officials who say they want to be prepared in the case of any kind of disaster. In the early days of the Gulf oil spill, there was concern oil would travel along the East Coast. Speaking to Rhode Island emergency management, experts now say the possibility is slim, but they say an oil spill can happen. Our danger is from the uh, uh, significant amount of, of oil uh, and, and processed oil products that make their way up near Narragansett Bay and through Rhode Island Sound, uh, primarily today on tank barges. That's what happened during the North Cape spill of 1996. The barge, trying to outrun a storm, caught fire and spilled more than 800,000 gallons of home heating oil into the water. The North Cape spill and the Exxon Valdez spill of 1989 set a legal precedent for oil spill cleanup. And the Gulf spill is sure to do the same. It's not clear yet what will happen, but I think uh, before the midterm elections this fall, we will see uh, a comprehensive revision in oil spill liability laws. It's estimated that BP will spend $33 billion on the cleanup, which scientists from Rhode Island got to see firsthand when URI's endeavor traveled down to the Gulf. Now they're bringing back what they learned. We can only try to create that culture of safety uh, so that everyone out there uh, recognizes that we value our environment very highly here. Though it is unclear whether or not the Endeavor will travel back to the Gulf of Mexico in the next few months, many of the experts we spoke to say they plan to go down there and assist in the cleanup as long as they are needed. With the West Bay Mobile Newsroom here in Warwick, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News. There is